starting another RPG. <laughs> <coughs> ah, something got in my throat. Ah. <coughs> this is becoming the RPG guides. <laughs> well, someone will be happy. Loading. Loading. Almost looks like a memory card. When the blocks fall. So I might be asking, Mike, why are you doing this right now? Um... The, the reason is kind of personal. Not, like, that personal, but it's just like... Um, basically, oh, I guess this is around where I saved last time I was in the game. Anyways, I picked this game up in the original version of Xenoblade Chronicles around the same time, it was kind of playing them inter like interchangeably and found myself trying to compare them, found out it was an apples to oranges comparison. Huh. Anyways, we're gonna start a new game. Future Sai here. I thought I would just take this moment to show what the title screen looks like when you basically started the game for the first time or you have a save file in the very beginning opening area. So, yeah, the first time you ever start up a new save or a new game, you, this is what you'll see. So I just thought I'd show that. Alright, and now back to our other... Although some voice actors in this are actually in Xenoblade. Wait, you scaly bastards! Dagron, move it! Over it! New tutorial! Movement in camera. Use the left stick to move. Press ZL to reset the camera to the position behind the player character. And here's how you do this with nunchucks. Hmm. And then on the classic controller, press ZL. Now. You never said we'd be playing tag. Just do your job. By your command. Think of the money. I'd rather think of the bee you're gonna buy me with it. Only if you get more of these things than me. Alright, it's on. Try not to pull too far behind, eh? A trap. You have a monstrous ego there. Then you can look forward to my monster victory. When near an obstacle, press A to hide. Press A again to emerge from cover. Hiding allows you to evade enemy attention. <sighs> oh, no shit. <laughs> press A. Press A. Uh, bolting. Uh, something was tickling my nose. Felt like I was about to sneeze. Hold down R to... Oh. Bring it on. 
Use L to move towards an enemy and attack. You can press X to open the menu and change the attack type to manual in the options screen. Guarding. You can guard while battling during a battle by holding R. While guarding, damage sustained from enemy physical and magic attacks is greatly reduced. So in this game, auto attack is you press towards the enemy and you auto attack. Hmm. L like Xenoblade Chronicles where it's uh, where it's just if you're close enough, you just auto attack. Something tells me this game's not going to get a super pretty version on the Switch. <laughs> I would like it to. Anyways, I'm using auto... So Ren, watch your back. Thanks. They just keep on coming. Damn, what the hell is Dale doing? I'm using auto attack right now, but I will change over to uh, manual attack. Yurik, let's move. You think Dagrin and Serena are ahead? Yeah, let's go and find them. Your current progress has been automatically saved to the checkpoint save. Anyways, so now I'm going to go into the options and go to attack type manual. Manual. In manual mode, you can press A to attack to repeatedly, uh, repeatedly to attack, but each attack will deal less damage than the normal mode. Oh, is it because you can attack faster? Yes. Right, that makes sense. Honestly, the way normal attack works is, uh, it, it, it makes me think of, like, bump mechanics. Oh, like ease? Yeah. I'm gonna turn the music and sound effects down and have the voices kind of steal the show. Right. Also, like Xenoblade, I can equip characters and you'll actually see their equipment. Also, but unlike Xenoblade, uh, use dyes to change the color of equipment by dyes at shop. Another thing you can do is, is like, you can freely remove various parts from characters' equipment. This has no effect on the equipment status. So if you want to customize the way they look, I can be like, uh, you know what, Seren in her concept art is just is just wearing um, is just wearing that <laughs> in her concept art. <laughs> so, yeah, sure, I'll like her better that way, anyways. <laughs> She's a redhead. Well, it's not, like, completely red hair, but... Yeah, she's a redhead. That makes sense. When you're in... This place is crawling with these things. What do we do? I don't think they've noticed us yet. Hold down ZL to enter sneak mode. If there's anything to find, the sneak icon will flash in the left of the screen. Oh, w wait a minute. Uh, almost forgot something. Sneak mode. There we go. <laughs> I'm used to inverted controls from the N64. That pillar. If we destroy it. Yurik, hit that pillar with your magic. The pillar, not the reptiles. I see. I'll give it a shot. You know, that's interesting that you should say that, because... Zale, it's the Reptid's horn. Dagwin and Seren have messed up. Yurik, let's go. No one's dying while I'm here. Wait! Today I'll rescue you, Dagwin. I'm pretty sure those two can look after themselves. They're my friends. I can't just sit here. Dagwin... Uh, talk! <laughs> oh, talk! <laughs> what was I forgot to fucking say before? 
fuck! <laughs> These guys just keep going and yapping and yapping and yapping. Uh, this game does that a lot. Get used to it. Ugh. I'm like, okay, I've got my thought, it's fully formed, and here we go, and hey guys, let's go over here, we're gonna do this, we're gonna fight these guys, we're gonna get the angle, right? Well, I'm not really into that kind of thing. Oh yeah, it's about the inverted controls. Oh yeah, you said it, it's interesting I brought that up because... Because, because Nintendo brought up in an interview once that they didn't use... They're close, I can hear them. Zale, stop. Don't get carried away. Or they, they offered inverted controls or something because they said that people got used to that because of an old Sega Jet Fighter game or something that had inverted controls. And they said that that's the reason people got used to inverted controls. And I'm like... That's a lot of red tits. They don't know. Maybe. But, but Nintendo used inverted controls on the N64, like you said. So I don't get it. Yurik, destroy that bridge. I don't know. It looks pretty tough. Yurik! Fine. Don't blame me if it goes wrong. Oh, now he decides to show up. The mighty Zale to the rescue. Me and Seren have got these ones covered. You focus on the others. The archers on the bridge are calling reinforcements. Deal with them. Woo! Very nice, boys. Zale, Yurik, good job. We like to use our brains sometimes. Not like Seren here. You eye patch wearing creep. Save it for later. Let's clean up. Like, oh man, that actually interrupted the thing. She, if that didn't happen, she would have responded to him saying, "You eye patch wearing." Really? Yeah, it was just kind of funny. It's like Seren really? here kind of just. Ah! Like, they have a cave troll. Look at the size of that. Zael, Seren, protect Yurik as he's casting. Okay, understood. I'm counting on both of you. Or we could just let the reptiles take them off our hands. This is basically what anime has become. <laughs> There's so many anime that are just like swords and sorcery nowadays. And it usually involves someone coming from another world. Usually ours. <laughs> well, nobody came from any other worlds in this. Yeah, I know. I'm just bringing up the combat reminds me of a lot of anime nowadays. Like, hey, spell casting and, and swords and all this stuff. It's just, it's just most anime are like that nowadays. You know what the maddening thing is? What? All of those anime that I've watched, they're just about all really good. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is real original. Damn it, it's so good! <laughs> well, looks like the coast is clear. Right. Is everyone okay? Yeah, that was easy. Let's move on. Is it actually good, or are you just easily manipulated? <laughs> Few days earlier. Looks like we have a new client. Woo! Alright! Just as we're about to run out of money, too. Thanks to someone getting hammered all the time. Shut it! I risked my life out there. Let me drink in peace. Sir. May I ask who our next client is? It's Count Arganon. Wow. The ruler of Lazarus Island. That's quite a result. There's a huge cannon on that island. But all that magic is dangerous. It draws all kinds of monsters to the area. And we have to clean up, right? You have a problem with that? Mm -mm. As long as I get paid, I ain't complaining. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, I reckon it's time to celebrate. Barman, here's with the best you've got! <laughs> <laughs> she almost sounds Scottish or Irish, slightly, to me. Yeah. And they made her the drunk. <laughs> Light circle save points. You always get happy when you see a light circle save point. I can save in like multiple location and in, in multiple file blocks, so I don't care about saving in the middle of recording. Mm -hmm. Take a good look. Some of them can use magic. Hmm. Zale, go and flank them from the right. 
At your signal, we'll charge from the front. Got it. Hmm. We'll finish this before they know what's hit them. <laughs> the healer in the center will cause us some grief. I want this fast and clean. Yeah, bef before most battles, you usually get to see the enemy formations like this. Huh. Leave it to me. I'll flank them from the right. New tutorial. Enter sneak mode and press A to shoot. R to zoom. Use up and down to select arrow types. Use the crossbow to attack distant enemies and interrupt the casting of enemy mages. They've got lookouts in position already. Shut up. Go away. Stop! Tell them you're busy. When you're in sneak mode, you can press Y to basically get like an instant scan log type thing. And it also tells you what they're weak to. I'm going to use the Wizard Slayer arrows on this wizard. Now! Dang! And now they have been flanked. That is what flanking is. It is... You basically... One person goes one way, the other person goes the other way, and gets them into a pincer. Hey, it was clean. And fast. <laughs> so, how the hell are we supposed to get over there, then? I'm pretty sure this has something to do with it. What does this do? Mm, what does this switch do? Push that in. Whoa. Whoa. Who makes something so dangerous? It's totally irresponsible. I'd say it definitely looks man-made. This game, Xenoblade and um, Pandora's Tower all have British voice acting. <laughs> Dakron, I'm hungry. Let's try to be professionals, okay? What? If I'm hungry, then I'm hungry. If I get killed because I'm too hungry and weak to fight, then don't blame me. If you've got the energy to whine like that, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this has got to be, like, one of the few times in history mm. that a game company has been like, yeah, let's bring out all these games in the UK first. And no plans to bring it out in America. Who does that? That's so weird! Any luck? I can see light. Hey, try giving it a little tap. Tap! You don't mess around. This just never ends. Yeah, I know you guys don't shut up. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when you're trying to do a let's play and the characters never stop talking. Where are we? Some kind of ruins. It's cold, it's weird, and it stinks. I don't like it. Everyone, get up against the walls. <sighs> a dead end. Yurik, let's look for an alternate route. Hey, shouldn't we stick together? No, it's easier to scout with fewer people. Zael, Seren, you two rest while you can. I'm sure there's more trouble waiting for us. Zael, keep your pants on. You better get some rest while you can. I can't help it if I'm worried. 
Dagrin can look after himself. Or are you getting all scared because he's not here to protect you? What? No! I'm a grown man, Seren. Oh, a grown man, are we? How big and macho. Well, I guess you have grown up a bit. But you're still just a kid to me and Dagrin. What are we here for? <laughs> this damn game! Oh, shut up! What was that? It's just the wind. <laughs> Don't be such a <sighs> chicken. Nobody. And I mean nobody. Calls hmm? me chicken. Today is not my day. Look, if you're this big, manly man, Dagger never told us about these things. I can hold them! Wait, is this a secret plot? Zayl, in here, now. We can buy some time. What the hell are you doing? Move this way! Yeah, skeletons! I said move! They're catching up! <laughs> not much further! Keep it up! The only game of a type when it comes to that. I'll hold them off here. You search for another way out. Manual auto system. No good. Damn. A dead end. Looks like this is it. But the door is sealed by the curse of the undead. Good thing you didn't go to sleep. You'd be dead. We're not so yes. bored! Yes. Ah. 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 I got a crossbow, bitch! Crossbow! Cross no! Oh, she'll be fine. It's only the opening of the game. They wouldn't kill someone off this fast. Right? Seren! She's been stabbed by a mogul blade. Mummy. Oh. Oh no, it's the mummy returns! Zale, run! Start a diamond store business. <laughs> run away! Zale! No. Mum. Who's your mummy? Not her. Seren! I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm sick of it! Sick of all the pain! Dramatic camera angle. You could, you could have seriously put Dante's lines in there and it, that would have worked. You can hear my voice, yes. What is this? I'm to fill your dark soul with light! What light? <laughs> Who is it? Who's there? Your heart is like mine. Filled with loneliness and sorrow. Who? Who are you? The main character is getting blessed by a magical power that only he will, that he will have and will be a big boom in the whole game. Huh. Never heard of that before. That's a completely unique concept! If you wish to protect those who are precious to you, is it a golden heart and a silver soul? Yeah. <laughs> Activate gathering. What's going on? Hey. I notice you were there. Protect those who are precious to me. What does it mean? 
So this is what this guy's power is. Gathering. This ability forcibly draws enemies' attention. Press L to activate and L to release it. The speed reduction of the enemy targeting Zale is shown by multi the number of down arrows above its head. Hmm. The focus of an enemy is indicated by a beam of light called a target line. The type of enemy can be determined... The type of enemy can be determined by the color of its target line. Cure. When gathering is active, Zael can revive incapacitated allies by touching them. Allies revived by Cure receive a temporary boost in abilities. An ally incapacitated five times will be KO'd and unable to be revived. Whoa. This game you have five lives each battle. Huh. Zael! What's that light? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just about. Ow! Zale, this is weird. Really weird. I'm just as confused as you are. I heard this voice in my head. What the hell is going on? Okay, Zale, draw the enemy into the fight. These things don't stay down. Some people say the undead are given new life in the underworld. I've heard that somewhere before. They do say fairy tales and legends have a grain of truth in them. All I know is I'll smash them down no matter how many times they get up. This game never shuts up. Hey, it shut up. <laughs> so, yeah. Zale. What just happened? What? There was a way out. Zale? You useless idiot. It was sealed by the curse of the undead. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What the fuck? <laughs> But yeah, Zell, you thought he was going to be the Shulk of this game. Turns out he was the Rhine. <laughs> when using Gathering, your ally's casting speed will double. Will be doubled. Huh. But yeah, this forcibly draws the attention of like everyone to Zell because Zell is a very selfless individual. <laughs> For I have the power of aggro! He also has the highest defense and second highest HP stat in the game. He's basically built to be a tank. Ugh, what a pain in the ass! Is this really the right way? The air's damp and the atmosphere stinks. So, Arganon knew about this place when he... When he what, Dagrin? Forget it. Pointless rambling. This game practically lets plays itself! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if this happened in Ninja Gaiden. Mamiji! Uh, yeah, we're taking Actually, these guys! <laughs> it kind of does in Ninja Gaiden 3. <laughs> but even it doesn't go this far. Wow, take a look at that. What is it? It's like falling flower petals. Yeah. Zale, in front, enemies! More bony freaks! Look, over there too! They've surrounded us! Are they intelligent? Don't try to defeat them! Just knock them into the valley! Makes sense to me! Alright, here we go! Yurik! Destroy that with your magic! Okay, cover me! Headshot! Uh, pressing left on the D-pad will let you instantly go back to normal arrows. Zael! Enemy reinforcements! They're sniping us! Aren't we done with this lot yet? Zael, my magic has a lot of range. Yuri, if you need my help, let Destroy me know. Destroy that with your magic! Okay, cover me! Get out of my way. <laughs> You're going down, you bony freak! Take care not to fall off yourself. Let's deal with the remaining ones. A bone brain over here. Yeah. It pretty this pretty much forces enemies to draw their attention to me and only me. Hmm. And it's like they ignore everyone else around them. Summon circles. 
Use gathering to summon enemies, defeat them to gain more XP than usual. This is how you grind. Huh. Characters won't have banter during these, so... Hey, we can talk freely! Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Whoa, no! Whoa, no? <laughs> Man, that hard cut whenever some, if someone levels up is like... You're looking at this character now! Now! You're looking at this character now! So, I want to say something. Um, you know how in Xenoblade Shulk's best attacks are all, like, hit enemies from behind to do more damage, or hit enemies from the side to, to, to lower their defense? Yeah. Okay. So, um... Shulk, what, if, what, if, what if Shulk and Zale were on the same team? Huh. Zale is pretty... Oh, and by the way, if when I hit enemies while this gathering is active, I get HP back. Huh. Eh, one more time. <laughs> Let's knock you off. Hey! Get knocked. There we go. By the power of lights, I have the aggro! <laughs> Also, these are healing bombs. Huh. And this is a healing circle made by healing magic. It's opened! Yurik, do you sense anything? Yeah, unlike anything we've seen so far. This gets better by the minute. The way the character's health bar is lined up on the side does remind me of Xenoblade, though. Yeah. Except in Xenoblade, the character's portraits are facing this, or facing the other way. <laughs> There's all these little differences. It's funny. Also, the character's faces in Xenoblade Chronicles will change depending on their, uh... Uh, what is that called? Boy. Shit, I forgot. Uh oh, something Tension. big. Something big is here. Just come out already. There you are. <laughs> Who's a big boy? No way! We can't win against that thing! I'll take one of these swords out of my back! Yurik! Then chuck it! Zail! Watch out! Don't let him hit you with one of those swords! Diving! L plus A to dive to avoid enemy attacks. Or you press Y if you're in manual mode. Because A becomes the attack button. Right. Woo! Here it goes! Find its weak spot. We're done for if we don't. It's worth a shot. Yurik, aim for the head. So Ow. Uh, wow. Well. well, there goes one of my lives. Well, that's a weird and interesting system. This is a cocoon. Oh. Yeah. There's more! They're dropping in from above. We've got to hold on. There's still too many of them. This is taking too long. Huh. 
All right, look, I'll just I'll distract everyone. Healing bomb. It's working. Let's move to the bridge. Ah, oh, I see. Very clever. I'll support you. Run, Zale. Run. Lead it to the bridge. Oh, I see. Run, Zale. Zale will draw it to the bridge. Yurik, you aim for its legs. Ultimate aggro has its advantages. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, he is. Zale is the ultimate enemy magnet. <laughs> And when that's active, enemies will also slow down, too. I've got enough of you. You're going down. Enjoy your fall through the chasm. It's actually possible to beat him without having to do that, but they purposely gave this one so much HP to encourage you to do this. Yeah. Now how is he going to get across? Well, uh, now what? They don't even address it. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> okay, so this recording was longer, but I decided to chop it into multiple episodes. Also, anytime a character got cut off or whatever throughout the game, I went back and re-recorded their lines we're using the fact that I can turn the music and sound effects off and just edit them back in. <laughs>